Hello, hello, my fine feathered friends. I am really excited about today's stream. I have never played this game before, ever. And I've also never streamed any game other than Ark. And so this should be kind of exciting. Anyway, thanks so much for coming and hanging out with me on my birthday. Coming to my birthday party. Hey, Xanth, you were first. Woohoo, congrats. And hey there, hey no quest. Indeed, you are second. Oh, and I got some doubled audio going on. Let me. There we go. I think. Did that fix it? Maybe it wasn't doubling. All right. Sorry. Uh, every time I click over to a different screen, the No Man's Sky audio cuts out. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Hey no quest. Welcome, welcome. Yes, indeed, you are second. Hey there, Hunter. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, nice crickets there. Yes, yeah, sorry about being late. I had to set up a bunch of new stuff in OBS for playing a different game here. But let's oh, let's get going as soon as there. I have an awesome new chair and I am very excited about it. I've been talking for a while about my chair that had the arms that would fall off of it. I got a wonderful new secret lab chair for Christmas and so I am sitting comfortably and ready to go okay let's see I did get on here last night I didn't actually launch the game itself but I just went to and at least looked at the options and set it up how I thought I might want it oh this whole holding down things to click is a little different but yeah I think yeah I think I got all of this set the way it needs to be Okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So normal and infinite journey. Explore and survive in a boundless universe. A relaxed, a streamlined experience. Fewer systems to manage. Lower costs. Creative. Explore and create freely. No costs, no damage, no limits. That is cool that they've got a creative mode. Uh, custom survival. What do you think we should do? I'm kind of leaning, I'm kind of trying to choose between normal and survival. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe we should start with survival and if it's too gnarly, we can always go back and start again in normal difficulty, right? Right? Like how hard can it be? <laughs> Normal? You guys are all saying normal? All right, well, I, okay, let's try that then. All right, any time now. Very um, trancey music here. I. I think it's doing something. Uh, my GPU is doing something for sure. Oh, there we go. Ooh, trippy. Nice. That is a cool intro. You always go normal when playing a new game? Yeah, probably a good idea. Ooh, I can actually move a little bit even in this screen with the mouse. Okay, am I supposed to click on one of these or something or is it still loading? I think it's still loading because nothing happens if I click. I bought this game on sale probably shortly after it came out actually. I have so many games in my Steam library that I have never played at all. It is kind of ridiculous. Some of them I bought on Steam sales because I was like, oh, that looks interesting. I'll try that sometime. And then I never got around to it. Some of them were gifted to me. One of my sisters is also a gamer and we tend to give each other digital gifts for birthdays and Christmas. So we'll give each other like a game on Steam or an Audible audiobook or something like that rather than sending something in the mail. So some of the games I have, she gifted me. But yeah, once I got started playing ARC, I just haven't really wanted to play anything else for the past, oh, four years. 
And so, yeah, a lot of great games that have sat there uh, and weren't even loaded. I just downloaded this onto my PC last night. Been sitting there in my library. So, am I supposed to click on something here? Or is it still loading? It's got all these names and I think some of them are starting to repeat. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. It hangs up a little bit. Here and there. Ark is awesome, yes. I love Ark. I was getting a little weary of the crashes with ASA, but it is an early access game. I'm definitely not abandoning it. I have uh, all kinds of plans for things I'm going to do in ASA. I just launched a new series with some friends that I'm quite excited about. But, you know, I just figured it'd be nice to take a day and take a break from it. I've noticed the crashes seem to be worse when I'm streaming, so... I figured I should try a different game to stream today. Uh, oh, oh, it's doing something. Begin initialization, okay. Commencing suit initialization. Ooh. Yeah. Geo system online. Hey Noah. Oh hey Rod, by the way. Oh yeah, it is hard on the computer for sure. Uh, ASA is a rough game to, on your computer. Online. Ooh, I've got a jetpack already. Sweet. Cool. Scalding planet. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any, um... Okay, where am I supposed to go? Oh, that's cool. Scan to locate... Uh, hit C. Scanner is damaged. I need fertile dust or ferrite dust. Um, okay, uh, how do, where do I get ferrite dust from? Whoa, carbon ferrite dust. Okay, the controls so far seem somewhat fairly easy to figure out. Ah, it's getting very hot. Okay, uh, I need a little bit more. Ferrite desert. The small rocks, huh? Now it's overheating. Okay. Uh, repair the scanner. How do I repair the scanner? Um, I've got the things, now how do I do it? Um, use tab to access multi-tool inventory scanner. Okay, repair. Sweet! Okay. Um, now what do I do? Uh, C. All right. Yellow plants for sodium, huh? Not those yellow plants, apparently. Is this a yellow plant? So is this the um, No Man's Sky equivalent of punching trees, then? I'm probably just gonna die. There is something over here. What is that? Oh, there's creatures! That looks like an Ovis and a Spino had a baby, which is a very disturbing thought. Hey, 
Susu. Thank you, thank you very much. And yeah, basically I'm starting in scorched earth here. Dihydrogen crystals. Dihydrogen oxide is water. Um... I think my mouse sensitivity is too high or something. Sorry for how this is jerking around so much. Apparently none of these are the right kind of... of... of a uh, plant. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm probably going to die. Okay. Now recharge with quick menu. Okay, uh, what did I, what do I do? Technology okay. It, investigate your surroundings. That I can do. It seems like almost like the the um, the sodium plants had me collecting them by hand, but it seems like most of them it wants you to collect it with this thing. But at least it pulls it out automatically. I don't have to equip it. What is this? Fireberry. Okay. Nice. Okay. Scan. Cool. Oh, so that jetpack power surge was a temporary thing. Okay. Are you one of those spino sheep things? <laughs> Six legs, jeez. Interesting looking critters. Navigation basics. The compass is looking at it. Okay. The analysis visor detects points of interest from afar. They can be pinned, allowing you to track them outside of visor mode. Okay. And that is F. Cartographer and space stations will supply planetary charts. Okay. Quick menu to summon your ship to your location. I have a ship? Cool. Starship requires fuel in the launch thrusters to take off. Assemble launch fuel from dihydrogen found as blue crystals. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, six legs is a little interesting looking for sure interesting sheep uh okay you can create your own shelter all right i'll come back and read the rest of this later okay what is that that is that the distress signal it was talking about so can i now That's kind of fun. Whoa! Here's lots of dihydrogen crystals. Ooh, what do we got here? Whoa, that is a weird looking thing. I don't think I have any creature pellets. Nope. 
That's cool that you can, like, tame creatures, though. How do I analyze this? This music is really loud. Just a second here. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn the music down a little bit. Uh, audio. There we go. Let's turn the audio down to 50. Let's turn both of them down to 50. There we go, that's better. And I did also set the temperature to Fahrenheit. The default is Celsius, but I don't think in Celsius. Okay. Let's apply. Right. Oh look, it's a space dodo. Can run through rocks apparently. Ooh, silver. I don't have a terrain manipulator apparently. Hold F, huh? I, ooh, okay. So that is where my ship is. All right, I will head in that direction then. I want to explore, too. I like to explore early on because it doesn't feel like you have much to lose. Because, I mean, if I die, I haven't really done much yet or gotten much. And that is a very strange looking thing. Hello. Are you a space parasaur? Sorry, I don't have any creature pellets. Just want to see what's around. Ooh, what's that? Probably something that will explode when I get close or something like that. Ooh. Just want to see what this thing is. Oh. Okay. Jetpack depleted. Alright, alright, I'll go to my spaceship. I will. I just want to see what this is. Can't blame me for being curious, right? There's another one of those six legged cow sheep things. What is this? Damaged machinery. Oh, you have to repair da- Facium. Okay. Well, I guess we will be on the lookout for that. Just, why does it keep showing me these structure looking things? Whoa, what was that? Oxygen plant? Okay, oh, that's the silver stuff. Oh, this is, okay, this is uh, phosphorus. All right, now, where did that marker go for the ship? Probably got myself lost. It's okay. We're just exploring. Aw, thank you, Lisa. I appreciate that. So, we have to destroy the facium and that will collect it or open it. Okay. Don't quite know what facium is, but I assume we'll find it eventually.
Okay. Damaged starship appears to be the best starting point. Okay. Now it's going to show it to me again. Okay. That way. <sighs> okay. Make them with carbon collected from plants and trees. And then you make them and then you break them? Huh. Okay. So is... Am I going to run out of inventory space if I just keep collecting stuff? Because... Because I tend to be a bit of a um, hoarder in games. Not in real life, but in games I just collect all the things. Whoa. Oh look, it's like a mouse deer thing. The thing that showed up on your screen can be collected or destroyed, then the capsule will open. Okay, it was saying that capsule thing that I found, it said that um, it needed to be repaired in order to open it. And I didn't have what I needed to repair it. But I'm sure we can come back. Oops. Weapon charge depleted. Okay, how do I re recharge an inventory or quick menu? Oh, cool. That's simple enough. That is a cool looking plant or whatever it is. Fungus? Oh, you are like a mouse. A mouse-cow centipede thing. That's a very disturbing combination. Hey Mikey! Yes, No Man's Sky, really. I've owned this game for at least four years. I may have bought it shortly after it came out. Um, because <laughs> remember when it first came out there was all of this anticipation and then yeah it was not great when it first came out and so i think the price dropped and it was like really cheap and so i bought it then and never touched it again i started playing arc and uh yeah that was four years ago all right there, we've got some stuff that I need to find. That is apparently my ship. The way you repair it is by removing the item it shows. Oh, okay. Okay. So we apparently crashed here and also hit our head really hard because we have amnesia or something. Whoa. Boundary separation failure likely. What does that mean? Um, okay. Vessel emptied, cause sentinel intervention, deliberate train. Analysis, fresh iteration generated, anomaly containment prepared. Broadcast or leave? Uh huh. Uh, okay, let's broadcast and see what happens. Traveler anomaly detected. Alright, cool, Mikey. Send me a message later on Discord or something then. Okay. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. System integrity scan. Initialized. I feel like I should read those in a robot voice. I guess next time I'll try that. Oh, there's another... There's like an armadillo rat thing. Okay. That 
Let's pass V1 required. Condensed carbon gives more charge than regular carbon. Find condensed carbon as crystals or process it in a refiner. Okay. I look like I'm like about to die or something here. I might be. Like, where's an AC when you need it? Remove damaged components and scrap to open. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? Okay. Ah. Okay. Um, condensed carbon! Okay, that gave me some condensed carbon. Nice. Um... Anything else I am supposed to interact with here? Damaged machinery. Okay. Nanites received. Okay, cool. Probably just gonna sizzle myself to death here. Okay, what was this? Oh, that was the Atlas Pass. The end. What am I supposed to do with this? Uh, light? I don't think I need a light right now. Radiant Pillar, BC1. Okay. Well, maybe it's there's an air conditioner in here. Let's hope, right? Atlas connection intermittent launch thrusters offline. Pulse engine offline. I find myself alone in a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of a before. Okay. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Mikey. That's really sweet of you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, connect exosuit. Right, unavailable, substituting data. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Okay. Self guided repair protocols initiated. Well, isn't that nice? They make it idiot proof to repair it. All right. Pulse engine provides space and atmospheric flight propulsion. A system is highly damaged and requires metal plating and a hermetic seal to repair. The technology is critically damaged. All right. Need to exit. So I'm going to need metal plating, which presumably I can get from uh, crash stuff here. Doesn't seem like that's damaging it. This looks like metal plating, but apparently it's not metal plating of a kind that I can collect. Nope. Oh, that one looked like a spider up there. I don't like spiders. I do not like them at all. Come on, these things look like they're made out of metal plating. It's gonna make me go somewhere else, isn't it? No recycling allowed? Metal plating. Ferrite? Oh, I have enough ferrite dust. Sweet. 
So I have to craft it. I can't just recycle it. So craft product. Transfer this. All right. Okay, craft more. Uh, e. Okay, I need more. How many of those do I need for the ship? Okay, so the, are these like engrams then? Are these are are these things I know how to make, or are these to do with my ship? Hey, Camrys! Welcome, welcome, and thank you very much. All right, okay, so I only need one metal plating, and then I need one, one um, medic seal. Oh, and this is spicy peppers, apparently. to be charged. Okay. We're hitting C and it's not charging. Uh, oh, E. Okay. Alright then. So, this looks like a cape. All of this. Yeah. This looks like a good place to go when it's hot out, right? <sighs> I should probably patch this metal plating onto the ship first, right? Starship inventory tab. Starship inventory. I need to get in the starship first. Or, oh, there's the. There it is. Alrighty. Alright. It's still on fire, but apparently it is partially repaired now. Okay. Oh, I need to consult the ship diagnostics. Okay. And I really appreciate the advice, Rod, very much. Alright. Because I don't know anything about this game. Let's see. Critically damaged. Yes, you said that before. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Okay, let's request assistance. What do I need for that? Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Alright. And what do I do? There we go. Planetary chart. Yes. Planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory to view data. Highlight the chart and use E to plot a route. Doesn't seem like the best time and place, but uh, okay, we will do that then. Convert data to exosuit navigation marker. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. There will be a storm soon? Ooh. Should I go into the cave or should I try to finish repairing the ship? Because it looks like it's telling me that I need to go that way. You think I have a chance of making it there and back before the storm? Or should I head for the cave? Hey, Kova! Thank you! Whoa! 
Whoa! Okay, that's a very deep chasm. Oh, and there's another ship. Um, all right, don't fail me now, jetpack. Ah! No! Uh, no! 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 Dang it! So much for that jetpack. Hey, Hero Ren! Thank you! What are these? Alright, well, take some. Oh, great. Okay, so do we go for the part then? Or do we try to make it into a cave or something? Like, like this looks like a cave. Oh, dang it. The cave is toxic, apparently, so that's not good. Charge your hazard protection with sodium. Um, no, I'm not trying to do that. Dang you. Oh, uh... Oh, the mouse scroll. No, 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 no. Back. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm probably just gonna die, but hey there, uh, Ovis Spino thing. Um, but that cave was toxic and nearly killed me, and it is apparently very, very hot right now. Recharge equipment. Yes. Uh. Okay, can I get up so I can get I'm trying to get up and out of this here chasm? No. Oh my gosh, that thing is far away. There's a building over there? Okay. Let's see if we can go faster. Might as well grab more sodium on the way since apparently it's pretty important. Take fall damage. I'm trying not to go too high. And yet another valley we have to cross. It keeps looking like it's just beyond the next rise. Uh, let's recharge. Thirty-five percent life support systems. Come on, we can do it. Everybody cross your fingers and toes. Oh man, where's the Gatorade when you need it? So is it random then what world you end up in? Oh, that looks like some kind of supply cache. Can't possibly overlook a cheeky supply cache. Oh, what do I... Oh, need an atlas pass? Dang it. 
Okay, got some condensed carbon. Oh, that needs an atlas pass. Okay. What do I do with this? How do I remove the damage? Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, whatever. We're gonna keep going. You know, this actually reminds me... Uh, the graphics, of course, are completely different, but it reminds me a little bit of Astroneer. Of course, the fact that the planets are all kind of different, I, from what I understand, um, definitely is different. But the whole, you know, having to mine and find resources and keep your oxygen levels up or whatever reminds me of that. Six out of seven logs corrupted. Entry follows. No one making this recording in case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use. Okay, okay, interesting. Vis visor damage. Can't find ship. All right. Uh, I hope you like my sound effects there. Those are provided for you at no additional charge. Recover supplies. I have the hermetic seal I need to repair my ship. Awesome. Hey, controller freak. Yeah, right? Um, there's no dinos, but there's definitely some weird looking critters out there. I saw some that looked like a cross between a spino and an ovis. It's rather disturbing, really. Okay, whoever it was that led me here, whoever left this message, perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as I do now. All right. Anything else in here? Chair. Can I sit in chair? No, I can just spin the chair. Okay. Woo! It'd be more fun to sit in the chair and spin it, but... I suppose I'm going to have to go back out there and brave the elements again. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here that I can interact with. Look, there's some house plants in here. It's really weird not being able to go into first person. I'm used to when I'm in tight confines just using my scroll wheel and going into first person. Okay. Is this more of that sodium? That seems to be fairly important for keeping my thingy retard. Oh no, that's cave marrow. Okay. In cobalt. Okay, anything else around here? Viscous fluids, you harvest material. Wait, what do we got? Nanites. Okay. I figure while we're here, we might as well see what else there is. Okay, that's where we already were, wasn't it? There's two of them? Yeah. Huh. So this one looks like it's more broken than the other one. Well, I think I don't really see anything else around here. Don't want to run out of ferrite dust now, do we? Or carbon. What was that? Encrypted navigation data. Okay, so there is something else. Use analysis visor to locate starship. 
can also be used to analyze flora, fauna, minerals. Analysis results in commercially valuable data, as well as revealing additional resources. Required parts, carbon nanotubes. All right, begin analysis fiber, the visor installation. Tab. With a multi tool slot like that one. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, Black Ruby Gamer. Hello, hello. Yeah, I, I haven't been streaming as regularly lately because I'm trying to focus on edited edited content, especially with how unstable ASA has been of late. But I wanted to do a stream on my birthday at least, so but decided to take a little break from woo from ASA and try a new game that I've been meaning to try for quite a while. And I'm probably going to get myself killed. I just, you know, I'm just exploring, trying to figure out stuff. I'm sure that I'm not doing things in the most efficient way, but that's okay. Okay, I need to locate my starship again, I suppose. Carbon. It's okay, so I need to gather more carbon. What is that? Doesn't seem to be working. Do I am I supposed to pick that up by hand? No. Okay. So it's kind of like Ark. Some of the plants are harvestable and some are not. Okay. Draft carbon nanotubes. Do I have enough? I do. Tab to access my inventory. And here. Carbon nanotubes. Alright. Oh, need more carbon. They take a lot of carbon, apparently. Yeah, the analysis visor, it does sound like something that will be very helpful, so... Yep, I will work on repairing it here. wasn't accessing oh yeah there's like a weird two-legged kangaroo headed strange thing um the hazard thingy that's what i'm trying to no not that one um i use oh there we go okay i need more more sodium got it You controller freak it is a little intimidating i came to uh making arc videos and streams after having already been playing the game for a while so it is definitely interesting um trying to play something for the first time on a stream but i very much appreciate all the advice and help everyone's giving all right we got some oxygen and we need to pick this up. 
Open it up. Condensed carbon. Nice. Okay, what about this one? More oxygen. Oxygen is good. But how do I repair my thermal protection? I need some more... Need some more sodium. Oh, there's sodium. You are very weird looking. No offense, but you know, it just had to be said. Okay, that hopefully that is enough. You have philosophobia, Zant? I actually just started watching videos from a YouTuber who has philosophobia too. He did a series on Subnautica. And I mean, kudos to the guy because it was really rough on him. He's doing an ARC series now. Bush, Butch X3 is his channel. Highly recommend. Really like his style of storytelling. Okay, um, what if I... I needed to make more of those tube thingies. How do I make more of the tube thingies? Where's the crafting? Thank you, GP. Appreciate it. I actually have a little bit of that too. I, well, I, I don't know. It's probably something different, Zant. It's because um, I, I don't know if it's philosophobia. If, like seeing open water to the horizon, whatever. That doesn't bother me at all. I like seeing, you know, the, the coastline. I, I like seeing the ocean. But being in water and not being able to see the bottom underneath me, that freaks me out and always has. Like, I like snorkeling, but only where I can see the bottom. If I can't see what's below me, then it freaks me out. If I know, if it's a place where I have seen the bottom below me before, so I can, like, pictured in my mind's eye then it's usually okay like there was a lake I used to swim in with my family as a kid and sometimes it would be murky but I had already swam in it before when it wasn't murky and so I knew what the bottom of it looked like so that didn't bother me but if it was a strange place or something and I didn't know what was below and I didn't know that it was only you know another few feet deeper than what I could see then it would break me out big time. Hey, I got all the carbon. Alright, begin analysis of the gathering craft, advisor components, finalize installation. Analyze objects for rewards. Test the analysis visor. Oh, whoa, I gotta hold it down. Okay. Cool. Jeez, that's pretty pretty spicy out there. 137 degrees. Okay. Target an object and hold down left click to scan. 
Ah, cool. And I can zoom in as well. Well, I can really zoom in. Hazardous flora. Morosolite. Ah, cool. All right, return to the starship and continue repairs. There is the starship. Don't want to run low on ferrite dust and carbon. All right, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you're probably right. Phobias come in different degrees. I did see one thing in here scuttling behind a rock that looked kind of spider-ish and I do have a lot of arachnophobia. Ooh, that looks cool. I didn't see that before. This must be a different spot because I, I think I would have remembered seeing that. Save and chart. Sure. Camp Hyam. Okay. Oh, and let's recharge the thermal protection again. This looks really cool. Probably shouldn't be exploring this because I'm like, you know. My thermal protection is falling and my life support is falling, but you know, you gotta explore. It's, this is cool. Whoa. No, no, no. I was trying to go this way. This is cool. So I assume when your um, jetpack is fully operational, you could just fly up onto here. Hmm. Nice. Okay, I'll need to go here in later quests. Okay. Holographic comms tower. I do, my, um, love of exploring can tend to make me find things in the wrong order, but that's okay. Um, okay. I'm not going to attempt to read that. Apparently they speak a different language. Very cool. Okay, let's get down. You'd think they just have like the teleport elevator type of thing rather than a high-tech ladder that you have to climb. Just pop you right up there like a tech elevator. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Down, down, down. Well, that's one way of getting down. Okay, now where are we going? That away. Need to keep my eyes peeled for sodium on the way. Oxygen, oxygen, there's sodium. Yeah, there's one of the Ovis, um, Ovis Spino weird looking things, yeah. There's this on the other side, dang it. There's, oh, that. Oxygen. 
oxygen is good. Okay, where is the sodium? There's sodium around here somewhere. It's harder to find when it's not dark because it glows. Okay, let's see if we can repair this. How do I select the other thing to recharge? The um, life support. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of what I've heard, um, Black Ruby Gamer. That yeah, it started out when it first came out. It was disappointing, but the company that made it that they came back from the initially disappointing release and made it awesome and now it's really really good is what I've heard Thank you, Mama Java. Yeah, uh, uh, Zant, that's probably more like what I spent for it. Maybe even less than that, since I got this game so long ago. Yeah, I don't know if some of the creatures give you resources if you kill them, but I'm a little nervous to try because I don't want them to all gang up on me and kill me. And when I go up to them, I see an option to tame them. Oh, dang it, there's that chasm again. Let's see if we can go around it. Oh, what's this? Residual goop. That seems like a technical term. Okay. I got nanites. Whatever those are for. No, oh, it's not gonna let me go around the chasm. It just keeps going. Okay, um... Navigate. There we go. There. There. Okay, I can't. Can I not charge it yet? No, oh, no fuel available. Dang it, I'm out of sodium. Alright, well, let's see if I can get across here. That looks like sodium down there, actually. I probably couldn't go across without falling anyway, so... That looks a little suspicious. Oh, no, this is just an oxygen plant. Most of the creatures will run when attacked. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any other games really have the variety in AI that you get with ARC creatures. And, uh, I need to find some sodium. From there, or some that way. Alright, let's see if we can get up there. Can we get up there, please? Nope. Nope, we can't. Dang it.
How do I get up? Oh, that's poisonous gas, yeah. Let's avoid that. How are we supposed to get across this thing? Nope, nope. Dang it. I'm gonna fry here pretty soon. Is that sodium? No, that's cave marrow. Spino sheep. Okay, some planets do have hostile creatures. Okay, cool. Good to know that there's some variety in there. Oh, great. There's sodium up there. And up there. And up there. I may have to retrace my steps to get out of here. Go inside the cave and charge up my protection? I don't think I have enough sodium to charge it up. Good to know. Well, it's good to know that going in can help with stabilizing my temperatures, considering that my thermal protection is um, not in very good shape. Yeah, see, it won't let... It's at 100% th though. Okay, so it recharges when you're in shelter even without having the resources? Okay, that's pretty cool. My ship is that way. Oh, 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 can we get out this over here? Maybe. Oh, ship's passing overhead. Uh, oh, dang it. Where's a grapple when you need one? All this technology and I don't have a grapple? The, the jetpack lasts longer closer to the wall. Okay. Right, well, the thing is the hole is in the middle of the roof. But, uh, let's try. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. There you go. There we go. Thank you for the advice. Okay, now, there's my ship. Let's go install our hermetic seal. Alright, repair the pulse engine, access the starship inventory, and repair. Repair. Where do I starship inventory and So what do I do? I'm clicking the thing. Okay. Okay. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Launch thruster. So now that's what I need to repair. Alright, I need dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite. That shouldn't be that difficult. I have dihydrogen stuff that I got from the blue crystals. Craft dihydrogen jelly. Yes, dihydrogen acquired. See, it it pays off sometimes being an in-game hoarder. Now I don't have to go out and look for it. 
Open inventory. Dihydrogen jelly. Can I craft more? Grease the launch thruster with dihydrogen jelly. At least they walk you through what you have to do. <laughs> Can you imagine if they had something like this in Ark? Kill Dodo. <laughs> Acquire Hide. Make Shoes. Okay, I only need the one. Good to know. Alright, repair starship ship engines, crafted project products, salvaged items, and advanced refined substances. Okay, now we need pure ferrite. I make do I have what I need to make the ferrite stuff now? It's not giving me the indication that I can. Advanced materials required. Recommendation deploy a portable refiner. Okay. Deploy the portable refiner. Access the build menu with Z. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Nice. Okay, fuel the portable refiner. Okay, I have carbon. Charge equipment with carbon or condensed carbon. I should have plenty of that. Charge. Okay, there we go. Charge. Okay. So it's like a drag and drop type of thingy. Uh, let's refine the rusted metal. Because why not? Um, and but okay, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have done the other stuff. All right, the ferrite dust. Begin. I just like doing things out of order sometimes because I don't like the game telling me what to do. I don't really like being told what to do in real life, and so sometimes I just have to push against the game <laughs> telling me what to do a little bit. Just to show that I can. Just to show you're not the boss of me. Because yes, I'm very, very mature, as you can tell. Arc Mobile was like that. Oh, that it had a, a walkthrough tutorial. Yeah. I played a little bit of Arc Mobile at one point. Okay, requested operation extract metallic elements. A okay, but collect it from the refiner. Okay. What do I do? Uh, Return. Did it give me the things? Hey, a cage! Welcome, welcome. Just trying to figure out what to do here. Pure ferrite. There it is. Okay, so... Okay, quick transfer. Ah, okay. Yes. Put it in the exosuit for now, right? Okay, there we go. Still doing all of the noob things. Can I pick it up? I was trying to pick it up. 
Oh, made another pure ferrite apparently. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? Uh, repair the launch thrusters, access the inventory. Tab repair items. Okay. Cool. Alright. All systems functional. Pick up portable refiner using scroll wheel. Cool. Alright. Return to your ship. Huh? Ooh, we can take off, huh? Get off of this scorched hellhole. Let's do that then. Use W to take off. Okay. How do I go up? Oh, there we go. Ooh. That's pretty cool. I am having fun, Rod. I do like to learn new things, and so I am enjoying this. I oh, make myself dizzy here. Don't quite know what I'm supposed to do or where I'm supposed to go, but I guess we'll just go. Surely planets can't be that far apart, can they? <laughs> it's not like we might run out of fuel or something. It says to seek answers among the stars, so let's do that then. In. Why does it say in up there? Am I supposed to hit in? No, that must be the, the compass. Is that north? How can you tell what's north when you're in space? and there are no planetary poles, or is that the north of this particular planet? Oh, okay. Somehow I discovered another planet. That didn't take very long. Entering atmosphere. Ah. Test starship systems, test flight controls and thrust with W. I have been doing that. Oh, I can shoot. Cool. Test boost with left shift. Woo! You hold space to test pulse engine. Okay. Planetary interference. Alright, well, let's go a little bit away from the planet then. Whoa! And now, space. Whoa. Apparently that that's still like your warp drive, right? Frequency source unknown incoming message. Uh. I am hitting X. Okay, Starship Communicator. Select. Incoming transmission. Please identify yourself. I'm. <laughs> okay. Uh. You are not <laughs> alone. <laughs> okay. Follow the. <laughs> the broadcast ends as strangely as it began. The final piece of the signal appears to be a set of planetary coordinates. Alert. Navigational data received. Follow the coordinates and find the signal source. Well, I just discovered a planet down here, dang it. I got near 
telling me that I have to go explore a different one. Ooh, that planet's green. Maybe it's not a desert. <laughs> you like the translation? <laughs> That's an unknown planet. What do you think? What do you think we should do? Go to the unknown planet or do what the mysterious voice is telling us to do? Woo! I don't know how you're supposed to keep track of where anything is. Where that green planet goes. This uh, This is kind of disorienting. Huh. Well, there's some other planets. That that's not the friendly looking green one though. That looks like the toasted one that we just left. Maybe. And that is another unknown planet. Ooh, there's a green one with a ring around it. That looks like fun, right? Paradise planet. Hmm. I would name the green planet Planet Bob. Do you get to name the planets? That's pretty cool. Oh, no, I didn't mean to shoot it. Dang it. E. Let's hit E to tag. Landing sequence unavailable. Oh, there's that bigger one. Paradise planet. Ancient bones. Star bulb, copper, paraffinium, magnetized ferrite. Huh. If you look at the raid, oh, okay, cool. The radar. That would be a good idea to check occasionally, probably. Paradise planets are the ones you want. Yeah, yeah. I... Kind of sounds like it. All right. No, not that button. This button. We just fly towards it. Pilot towards coordinate marker. Now that's the for the mission thing. And yes, in case you're wondering, I am someone who tends to get distracted with side quests and never finish the main mission. But that's okay, right? It's a game. It's for fun. Left ship to engage. Boost! Do we want to... Ooh! Pulse jump. Eh, this does not look very safe. Uh, we're gonna die, aren't we? That is a dang lot of asteroids. Uh, engage pulse drive with space. Okay. Pulse drive will autopilot two coordinate markers. Shukumbeater Ibets? Is that how you say this? Who named this thing? Whoever lives there, if anybody lives there, I'm sorry that I keep shooting you. This is like the equivalent in Ark of accidentally punching something when you meant to pick it up. Okay, okay. I think we probably don't want to, like, crash directly into it. Man, there's a lot of asteroids and stuff. Yeah, I probably had like 300 hours in Skyrim before I ever finished the main quest. Whoa! Oh! No! Uh, yeah, let's not...
crash directly onto the surface. Okay, we're close enough to have planetary interference, so at least there might not be any more asteroids. How do I, like... There. Starship guidance message boost. Alright, I'm appear to be entering the atmosphere. Is it gonna like auto land for me or am I like just gonna crash? Ooh, some asteroids contain gold or silver, which you'll need later. Huh. Okay, but Okay, so I can initiate landing anyway, so that's good. Purple trees, cool. Um, we look like we're like gonna crash on them though. Hey. What do I hit to, like, land? Okay. I'm still too high to initiate landing? Okay, there we go. Landing sequence. Alright. So it's a little on the warm side, but not as hot as that last planet. That's good. I definitely will crash if I head straight down. Good. I'm glad that my instincts saved me there, then. Okay. Alright, well, let's see what we got here. Alright, Zant! Thanks so much for coming by! Alright. This is a very nice looking one. Okay, what was that? Something is attacking me! Oh, jeez. Well, Feline liver, okay. So it does have hostile critters on it. it does have ferrite dust. Uh, I'm supposed to scan this. Cooking spite, okay. New view discovery on. Kinda nice having one tool that does everything, does collect stuff as well as kill stuff. It looks like there's dangerous plants to watch out for it as well. Uh oh. Weapon charge depleted. Identified mineral. Okay, we'll we'll scan it. Is this that same thing as that other one? No, Yidirite. All right. And escape. No. Do I have to like hit pull down escape while I'm in there? Let's try scanning this again. Oh, cataloging guide. It's probably in there. Materials and items. Materials. Exotic. Okay. Woo. Cool. Hey, Mean Ren! 
Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Alright, now what is this clam looking thing? Advanced mining lights are required. Okay, well, let's at least... Ooh, let's at least scan it. Is we died. You discovery escape. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was one of the ones we discovered. But that isn't the. Oh, meteorite is we died. Inorganic. So this is a mineral. This is not a clam as it looked. Oh, I can rename it if I want. <laughs> Interesting. Zai Ferris Moss Habitat Soil Amalgamation Okay Okay, oh! oh is that Okay, there was a hostile critter earlier but that one almost looks, it reminds me of a roll rat or something A roll rat cow spino it was the ones that look a little bit like a Chalic Ethereum that attacked me earlier. Ooh, you are interesting looking. Hello. I don't know how to make creature pellets yet. Still a creature. Oh, what was that? Oh, ships. I assume those are just AI, right? Those aren't actually other players. Where are they? Oh, there's couple of sodium plants it looks like being guarded by a poisonous plant. The H in... Which H? There's two H's in Chalicotherium. I assume you mean the first one. So it's Calicotherium? Huh. Well, I never claimed to be a dino expert. Seems like, like a lot of people, we tend to make up our own names for the dinos or just mispronounce them because they have such long names. Like, I just fairly recently learned that I've been pronouncing Ankylosaurus wrong for a very long time. Apparently it's supposed to be Ankylosaurus. Impulse beans. Oh, are they a really incredible fruit then? Ooh! Wow. They are indeed a very incredible fruit. Wow. What are you? It's a giant pill bug. Oh, whoa, what was that? Okay, I fell into a cave. Hey! Distract with bait? I don't have creature pellets! Mordite, huh? Oh, both pronunciations are correct. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Not sure what cave marrow is for, but whenever I find out, I'll have some. Oh, this one gives sodium. I need sodium. All 
All right, can we get out of here? How do, do I have the recipe for the creature pellets? How do I find the recipe for those? Click a blank spot to open a recipe. Okay. It looks like I can create an oxygen recycler. Insert to continue. I don't think I have quite enough oxygen. I'll have to find some more for that. Down in the inventory, huh? There is... Uh, oh, one of these spots. Okay. They like to hide stuff, don't they? I thought that I would have to, like, probably discover a recipe or something in order to make them. Projectile ammunition. Seems like it might be handy. Now this is all the things that I can craft, and I don't see the creature pellets in here. I mean, maybe I'm just blind, but... Oh, you have to do the main quest first. Ah, that would explain it. Well, we'll get around to it. I'll do it. Just wanted to explore a little bit. It's cool that you can do this from so far away. critters oh dang plant critters just kind of fly away and then disappear it seems like I have to go up and harvest it by hand those things always hurt you before where you're able to get the oxygen. Okay. All right, all right. 
There's shit. That away. This is a very pre pretty planet, though. Let's harvest some stuff and things. You never know when you have to need some stuff and things. Did I pass the sodium? Okay, I'm gonna go back and get the sodium. I think I might have a little bit of PTSD from starting out on a hostile um, desert planet where I needed sodium. Oh! Ooh. some sodium. Okay, ship is that way. Hey, D'Artagnan Leonhardt. Th thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And welcome, by the way. I like this color combo of this planet. This one is much nicer looking than the desert planet we started out on. I am a color theory nerd, and this combination of colors just kind of makes me happy. Alright. Ooh, I got a crystal fragment. Oh! That plant did not like me doing- Oh! No, it's the- It's one of those things. One of the Calicotherium lizard things. There. This one didn't immediately disappear. Huh. Can you, like, get anything from it? Doesn't seem like it. You would not call this a paradise planet? Well, it's better than the last one, that's for sure. Okay, now I lost. I think that's silver or something over there. Oh, there's more sodium. There's... Oh, that's the, um, dihydrogen. Camp Detto. Oh! There's something here. Paraffinium. Well, I can't harvest it, but I can at least scan it, right? Uh, you won't let me scan it? No? Okay. Apparently that's not a thing I can do. Well, you know, you whoa! What was that? Oh, that was a plant. Okay. Let's go get that sodium plant there. And then we will head on in the main quest. Apparently we haven't even finished the tutorial yet or something because we don't have access to all of the things.
How do I uh, take off again? What button was it to take off? That was W. That does not seem to be doing it. It is not spacebar. It is not uh, right click or left click. Oh, there we go. Hold W to take off. Okay. Eh. Six hours. Thankfully, I assume that's in game time. Uh, engage pull strike. Oh wait, no, that's the planet we came from. We don't want to go back there. Is there another signal? Where's that other signal? Oh, there, there, that one. That's a different one. No, that's the, the scalding planet. It's like there's like something else. Why would it send me away from that planet only to send me back to it? That's real time if you don't use the pulse drive. Sheesh. Uh. That's the place? Tadley, we just left there, though. I mean, that was the place we started out on. Oh, it's part of the quest to leave it and then return? Dang it. Well, it's nice that at least we got a vacation on a more pleasant planet first, I guess. a little less disorienting. No, let's not go directly to the ground. Let's not do that. And we're still barrel rolling. Go down with S and land with E. Huh? Unable to initiate landing. Okay, that's. This is where I'm supposed to be landing, but I'm landed here. 
<sighs> All right. Just when I you land, fill up your takeoff engine. Okay, how do you do that? Oh, yeah, it's at 10%. Uh, I don't know if I have tritium or pyrite. Oh, I do have some tritium. Okay. Launch thruster. Okay, I don't have starship launch fuel or uranium. Alright. Oh, I've got a little bit of gold. Nice. And some silver. And some tritium hypercluster. Cool. Alright. Well, at least we got here at night, right? That is a very big building indeed. My life support thingy looks like it is low. Um... No! No! That one. There we go. That's better. Hi, Skygazer! Yeah, this is my first time ever giving it a try. And it's kind of refreshing in a way playing a game that just works and <laughs> doesn't have endless crashing. I love ARK and I'm looking forward to going back to it, but yes, it's nice to take a little break. So is it, is there like a selection of different planets that you, that like it'll randomly select one from, for you to start from? Because some of y'all were saying earlier about me being unlucky or something that I got the desert planet for my start out here. So that's not where everybody starts out? stuff and things. Oof. Restored. Nice. Projectile ammunition. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do a target sweep in a minute. Let me get stuff. And more ammo! Woohoo! Oh, it's all random. Okay. Guess I just got lucky then, huh? It's supposed to go that way? There's like nothing over there. Okay, cool. So they are all procedurally generated and unique, huh? Well, this isn't where it's telling me to go, but uh, Rod West from the comments there said that I should go here, so let's try that. And you are a very, you look like a cross between a kangaroo and a deer that's been like cut in half or something. Like a moa bird. Oh, and there's another spino ovis bull thing with six legs. <sighs> Alright, thanks so much for hanging out, Controller Freak. Appreciate it. And hope you have a fabulous rest of your day as well. Hope that I have the day I deserve. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Journey milestone accomplished, huh? Drifter. Ooh, 
this does remind me in a lot of ways of Astroneer. Completely different art style, but a lot of things about it. Do. Oh, I'm gonna need to recharge my thermal protection soon. Astroneer is another game I haven't played in a very long time that I used to play sometimes. Kind of satisfying farming stuff in here. Oh, there's a ship port or something, huh? Those are AI, right? Those aren't actually other players. Aw, thank you, Skygazer. That'd be cool. Yeah, I, I don't know anything at all about this game. Um, but yeah. So is it all like just multiplayer then? How do I get down there without like dying of fall damage? Because I don't think my jetpack is repaired quite enough for that. Just wants me to go towards the signal source. Okay, fine. It's gonna be like that, I'm trying to boss me around. Oh yeah, that needs to be charged. Oh no. Okay. Those are AI, but you can stumble across actual players too. Okay. That's cool. <sighs> Purchase stamina upgrades at a space station. Huh. If you group up, it will take you to the system of the person whose game you join. Oh. Okay. So you're wanting me to go this way for some random reason, apparently. Why? Okay, so there's some kind of outpost over here. Got it. Resource deposit copper. All right. C plus. Oh, carbon crystals. We wanted to get some sodium though. Uh, ah! Stupid plant. I get you for that. Definitely need to keep plenty of sodium around on this planet. <sighs> I can name everything if I want, huh? That's kind of cool. Gek relic. Huh. 
that can be offered to the Gek to improve my standing. Okay, what is a Gek? Ooh, nice. Sodium. And an ion battery. Sweet. Ooh, that's that does sound cool, Rod. And that's kind of cool, Skygazer, that you can rename things if you want to, but you don't have to. Like, it gives everything a name so that, you know, you don't have to try to think of names for things unless you want to. Okay, now where was I trying to head? That away. Oh, um, wait a minute. Deploy marker beacon? E, let's try that. Ah, that helps. Yeah, I love that kind of game too, Skygazer. Games where there is no end to what you can do so you never get bored. Because I don't like having to learn new games all the time. I would rather play the same game for years rather than having to learn a new one all the time and the controls and everything. I mean, I like learning, but it just... I To me, it's more fun if you can learn, if you can come up with new strategies to do things and stuff rather than, you know, learning the basic controls for a new game kind of over and over. But this definitely seems like one that is worthwhile to learn. Oh, this is that fireberry pepper thing. Okay. Oh, where did that marker go? Oh, there's my ship. The marker was... What? That's my ship. It, uh, it did. It looked like it was sending me somewhere else before. so much for popping by oh uh, you got two unruly children to deal with huh well good luck with that <laughs> nice that sounds like fun sky gazer definitely my my type of game here come on turn around go back there we go that's why I love sandbox survival type games Microprocessor. Cool. And lots of projectile ammo. Now, are you seriously sending me back to the same place? There's a, like, crashed something or other. Alright, let's do the scan thing again. And now... It's not sending me back to my ship. Now it's sending me this way. Is it just leading me around by the nose here? Like, I feel like whatever I am searching for is a moving target or something. Alright, well, there's something. Sparking wires of the machine generate a signal, tapping out its broadcast into the void. Whoever left the message is long gone. Decipher signal. Decoding. 16, 16, 16. Okay. 
Entry number whatever. No fuel in. <laughs> Failed to reach station. Hazard protection low. No choice but to <laughs> underground. <laughs> Deployed base computer. As well as the log entry, the signal contains plans for a base computer and a terrain manipulator. Ooh, cool. With any luck, the base computer will hold more information about whoever is leaving these messages. Extract plans. All right, portable land registration service. When placed, contacts Universal Cartographic Archive to establish ownership of land. Successful registration allows the construction of base modules across any site of the user's choosing. Ah, cool. All right. Uh, okay, cool. Let me uh, recharge my thermal protection here before I get fried. And while we're at it, let's also charge the life support. Whew. Thank you, K9. I appreciate it. All right, we got any more goodies over here? Nothing. Ooh, sodium nitrate. Habitation program initializing. Select drain manipulation mission in the log. Gek relic. Another Gek relic. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's that spider looking thing. Reminds me of a crab, actually. Or, I don't know. Very strange looking. Looks... Kind of skittish, though. That doesn't set off my arachnophobia, though, as much as a lot of creatures, because it doesn't move like a spider. Caves look cool. I just want to stop and explore everywhere, but I probably shouldn't, because it would get kind of boring for y'all. I must be in a Gek system. Well, I would assume that. What is a Gek? That's what I would like to know. Oh, there's the marker. Oh, that's... That's off-planet. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so this is just my navigation marker. Oh, okay. Look, uh, I need. I don't really want to build here, though. This planet is not the nicest looking one to build on. Okay, fine. Uh, select terrain manipulation mission in the log. Go continue. Install the terrain manipulator. In okay. Craft dihydrogen jelly. Tab to open inventory. Okay, so I don't have to settle here. Good. I, I did leave this planet once already, but it made me come back to finish the tutorial. Um, use this to craft in an empty slot. It's not letting me craft in those ones. Why isn't it letting me craft in those? At least I can move stuff around, sort of. Have I not unlocked all of them yet or something? Might have to drop something. Because I have new empty slots. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, I could deploy this temporarily, I guess. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right, well, I guess I can drop these fire berries for now. Um, let me drop them. Oh, I can put stuff in the ship. Okay, let's do that then. Waste not, want not. Oh, gotta recharge. Avoid that plant and the ginormous hole. Jeez. Apparently, my ship uh, came very close to falling in this hole. Alright. Now, how to transfer stuff to the ship's inventory. Stem. Well, that sounds yummy. Navigation data. Okay, so this is for trading. So I'll, I can just put that in the ship for now. Cobalt. Marrow bulb. I don't know what that's for, but anyway, this rusted metal, I suppose, we can transfer. We can make things in the ship inventory if I'm close enough. Okay, cool. Good to know. Alright, now let's see. Craft things. Dihydrogen jelly. Alright, and then two carbon nanotubes. And install terrain manipulator components in the multi tool inventory. Okay, installing an upgrade apparently. Okay. <sighs> I don't like the dangerous plants being so close. Why is it not letting me harvest it? You want me to go access, activate the terrain manipulator with G. Okay, use the analysis visor to locate deposits. I saw a copper deposit a little bit earlier. Towards the big building. I'm gonna go over this way. Could I not go underneath the wing? I cannot go underneath the wing. Okay. Oh, your ship recharges your shields. That's cool. 
did not realize that. There's something over there. Might as well get some of these while we're over here. Oh! I'm not used to being able to actually change the terrain. like a cave or something. Copper, yes, I know there was copper kind of over closer to that thingy. And I'm also curious about the dangerous looking smoke and flames I see over here. Come on now. Those are those cave mallows. Okay, so that is another one of the burn thingies. Uh. Wisdom of the Corvax? Okay. Bakodim, 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 Yun Yun Yun. All right. The stone resonates, producing a sound that fills my mind. A vision begins to take shape. A robotic life form turns toward me. Light steams from their metal shell, forming a glowing fog that surrounds us both. They gesture towards me. Except knowledge. The name Corvax floats in my vision, an echo of the strange vision I just experienced. A word in this alien tongue is seared into my brain. Okay, I have learned the Corvax word for Corvax. I don't know what it means, but I have learned a word, apparently. <laughs> okay, I, you can, let's see. Uh, use visor. You mean with F? Like that? Okay, yeah, I need to do that again. I'm in a Corvax system. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does seem like I may be in a Corvax system. You can use middle mouse to change the mode to create land if you have materials to do so and flatten and stuff. Oh, that sounds cool. Very cool. Good to see this thing. Residual goop. Uh, what do we got? Nanites. Whatever those are. Okay. Yeah, I need I know, I know I should scan and try to find the copper. I I saw it earlier, but uh, Silver is over that way. Excuse me just a sec here. <coughs> Still getting over a bit of a cold. That's the is that copper? I think that's copper. No, that's carbon crystals. Ooh, that was a bit of a fall. Dang it. Uh. Whoa. Oops. I, well, I guess that's one way of dealing with a hazardous plant. Bury it. Um. Change size. How do I just shoot the dang thing? Mine. 
Well, I guess that works. doing the damage numbers and stuff though that it did before. How do you put it back in that mine thing? G to go to the other one. Okay, there we go. Thanks. Something was hitting me. I think it was a plant. Seems I haven't met any hostile creatures on this planet yet, just hostile plants. I think I already got this one, didn't I? Yes, I did. There's copper. Is there any that's closer? Copper. I know that I saw some not that far away from here. That's those creatures. Silver. Phosphorus. Silver. There's copper over there too. Silver. Where did I see that? Yeah, there is a copper deposit by- there's a couple of them up there. Okay. Thank you, Chufi! I appreciate it very much. Welcome, welcome, by the way. Oh, that would be smart. Press E on them to tag them. See, this is why I like having you along. sodium. Go through a lot of sodium on this planet, so let's go grab that. The red dots are the animals you can identify. Oh, okay. Oh, you can only tag one of these at a time. Oh. Good to know. So what is this? Analyze. Almerite. Huh. Songbird the Robust, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's a different one. It's not okay. Do I have to gather it by hand? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, do I. I can identify the animals then? Hey, okay, come back here! Let me identify you. There's plenty of those around. H. Botisgis? Okay. Ah, there's the copper. Okay. That's pretty cool.
That is pretty cool. This reminds me a lot of Astroneer. This is also how you mine an Astroneer, but it looks much more cartoonish than this game. Oh, there's another critter. What are you? You're the armadillo rat thing. Okay, let's hit escape. Can we rename you? Uh, catalog. How do you how do you find the creatures? You discoveries. Okay, fauna. All right. Ah. Let's rename it. You shall be known as the armadillo rat. Oh, it's got a beak, too. Okay, you're the armadillo rat chicken. There you go. Oh, it didn't save it. I think that is a very fine name. <laughs> what was the other one? This one. <laughs> you can only name things once, so make sure it's the one you want. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure that I I don't take it very seriously, so goofy names are always the best. This is like a sheep with a fat tail and a tiny head. It is very strange looking. Sharp claws. Good to know. Oh, you can keep your name for now. Okay. Do we have enough copper, you think? Should I head back? Probably have enough. Ah, no, stop it. How is my drill doing? That's fine for now. Okay. Let's switch this to the other side. Okay. You are a slightly different looking version. Are you- th you're the same thing? You're the- also a boat is just But you have a much more proportional head. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> you named a planet home and then couldn't change it? Oh, well that is very good to know that that is a thing. Okay, this looks like something. What is this? Maybe it's just ground. It just looked like it's some kind of deposit. Alright. Process copper. Okay, I gotta deploy the refiner. I wanna go back by my ship, though. Yeah, let's go back to the ship. Are you also one of those boat- No, you're a different creature. Okay. We'll check you out later. We get closer to the ship. I don't want to fry because I'm trying to think up a goofy name for a creature. That was its dad. Its dad has a little pinhead. Chad sheep. <laughs> I like that one. Canine. <laughs> That's totally what they should be named. Kill it for nutritional value. Yeah, I probably should kill some of the creatures. I'm just kind of used to Ark, and I'm a, a little bit worried that that um, other creatures might attack me if I attack one of their friends. But that does not appear to be a thing. Okay, can I still scan you?
Oh, yep. Okay. Alright, I just want to go closer to the ship before I deploy the refiner. Hang out over there. Definitely need to purchase some stamina upgrades. That uh, must be awfully convenient that you can just walk through rocks like that. No fair. That one I already identified. This one is identified. Why is this one? I thought this these were all just like ferrite dust things. Toe light, okay. Let's recharge my protection in here. This is definitely why I don't want to make this planet my home. It is a little on the hostile side. Ooh, fly around in the ship and do the pew 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 thing? That does sound like fun. I do want to try out this building thing though. There is no group attack till you get to sentinels? Okay. Well, there are aggressive creatures. Yeah, there was some on that last planet that I checked out. There was some aggressive creatures that would attack on site. They looked a little bit like a lizard calicotherium. Alright, now. Inventory management. Oh, I need to free up some slots in my suit so I can craft. Might as well sit in here and do it so I don't use up my temperature resources and stuff. All right, what do we got? Copper, let's see, sweet fruit. I don't have a nutrient processor, so we can stick that in the cargo hold for now. Residual goop. Looks like it can be sold. Same with viscous fluids. Lump, uh, feline liver and lumpy brainstem. Yum. <laughs> Raw steak. Also needs a nutrient processor, though. This one, it looks like I can just eat it. Okay, now craft. Right, well, I think I have to get out of here and oh, deploy the refiner. Okay, deploy the refiner from the build menu. Fuel supply, input, the copper. Create chromatic metal. I need 30 chromatic metal. Lots of that. All right, begin. Okay, so in this game you don't have to eat, but it gives you some buffs. Nice. Well, that is definitely an unusual survival game where you don't have to eat.
One less thing to worry about, though. So, will this keep doing its thing if I um, get out of the inventory? Like, I don't have to sit here, do I? Okay, yeah, it looks like it's still doing its thing. Am I on the wrong setting? There! Oh, that... That was on the wrong, the wrong setting. Okay. You're the same type of critter, right? I think so. Yes, you are. Lots of sodium plants all over. Now, where did I leave my ship? It was just right here. Oh, there it is. Everything is red and orange. I mentioned being a color, a, ner a color theory nerd. Yeah, that's one thing that bothers me about this planet is there's not enough contrast. Colors are a little monotonous. And not ones that are my favorites either. Alright, you done doing your thing? 288 chromatic metal. Alright. Then pick you up. How do I just pick it? I was just trying to pick it up. Oh. Mouse wheel. Okay, got it. All right. Yeah, having to eat all the time definitely would be a lot on top of trying to learn all the tech stuff. These things are so weird looking. Okay. Now, uh, um, let's try... Okay, so this is for... Mining. This is for create. Whoa! Okay. And with R. No, I, I can change the size. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's for like leveling out the ground. Got it. That's cool. Do you actually harvest the resources from stuff you destroy doing it doing this? Like it looks like I'm like picking up stuff. Got a nice flat spot, no? <coughs> okay. Access the build menu with Z and base computer. Base. So register the land as your own. Hmm. I can move it later too? Good, because I don't want this to be my base. I'd rather find a paradise planet for that. 
No prior claims on this site, so in our test confirm site is suitable for construction. Yes, let's claim site. Whoa, that's cool. That's really cool when they do that. So even though there's a spaceport on it, nobody's claimed it. Got it. <laughs> All right. Search base computer archives. Oh. Storms sweeping across, <laughs> but construction supplies low. Depositing shelter plans while <laughs> need to <laughs> back soon. Hope you appreciate my attempts at sound effects. Uh, okay, extract plans. There's a limit. I, uh, I don't know if there's a limit, but you can make a lot of bases. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, you can actually build out of wood? I wouldn't have thought that that would be a thing. Construct bases or shelter for our elements. Plan your base by earning new construction blueprints. Return to your base to store and process items as you explore. Got it. Okay. Construct a shelter for protection against hazards. Build foundation from timber floor panels. Zero of Okay. Oops. Nice size. Incoming firestorm. Oh no. All right. Now, um, cycle part. Okay, I. Can do that apparently. Uh, walls. Let's get. Let's just get a nice normal wall. So does it just like freely give you the resources? It doesn't. What is it using to make these? Is there a door? Or am I going to be closing myself in here? Uh, okay, let's go get in the ship for a second here. Ah, no! Get out of there! Dang it. Whew! Okay, so it uses carbon. Got it. External temperature of 213 degrees. Yikes. I'll return to the base computer in just a minute. <laughs> thank you very much. Hey, noise! Thank you, thank you. Aw. I, I hope it will be too. 2023 was an amazing year and I'm very excited to see what this trip around the sun has in store. All right, let's try hopping out again for a little bit more building here. Should I pick this up and move it inside or something or is it okay? Hey. Why are you not there? All right, just getting in under this little bit of roof seems to be fixing it. Um Oh, I'm out of carbon though. And you can upload your bases. That's kind of cool. <sighs> okay. So yeah, don't do that then. Don't pick up the computer. Let's see. Can we... Can we access... Can we access... The 
Yes, we can get some carbon from here. Oh, I'm not trying to hit the critter. But apparently I'm hitting the critter anyway. I was trying to hit the plant, but it's not letting me hit the plant. This... Yeah, this planet does not have a whole lot of carbon. It's kind of a good thing that I went to that other planet and got some more carbon. Busy for a little bit. Okay. Ah, there's the door. I'm just messing around with pieces. I have no idea. kind of base I want to build or even what kind of base is possible in this game. I haven't even watched any videos of this game. So I've I've heard about it a little bit from other gamers and stuff, but I have never played it or watched any videos. Can I, like, put my last piece of roof on there, please? Can't seem to get far enough away. Maybe we can do it from out here. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. I'm out of carbon again. Oh, B makes it easier. It goes to another camera. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, let's... Kinda nice, it lets you just 3, 3D print your own wood. Don't have to actually chop down trees. Pretty cool. I like the look of the building materials and the way that door opens is cool. Okay. Roof and then go to another camera with B. Oh, it's kind of like K mode or something. But there we go. What are the te farming flora containment? Okay, I can have a plant. I can have it upside down from the ceiling if I want. All right, why not? <laughs> Silica makes glass, and ferrite dust makes stone. When you get the plants, okay, nice. 
So the B camera for building works like the new picture mode in camera in ASA. Okay, cool. Very cool. All right. What else we got in here? Capped standing light and a flag. Okay, the light, I assume. Oh, the light can go inside. I assumed it was only for outside. Let's put it in here then. It's a little annoying not being able to go into first person. Oh, that's okay. No worries. But yes, yes, I knew what you meant. <laughs> okay. Leg. I can't, it won't let me put it up here. There, yes, I can. Okay, we'll put it right here. See that sheep? That means this is my house. Oh, th oh this is the window, basically. Okay. Huh. So, if I change my mind about a structure, can I, like, pick up a wall and replace it? Or... Doesn't seem to let me. Oh, somewhere in the quick menu you can change to first person. Oh. Uh, what's the quick menu? Uh... Q there? Utilities. I think it... Quick menu expects you to be actually quick at choosing things. Ah, there we go. Toggle camera view. Oh, that's better. Ah. Hello. All right. You have to go back into build mode. No, oh, this is still just the same thing. I was wondering if it would give me additional options. Oh. Construction largely a success. Recovered salvaged data from nearby plans logged. Scans indicate additional subterranean devices. Beginning search. Hmm. Whoever recorded these logs evidently had some success. I have access to their plans, and perhaps I can learn from their efforts. Ah! Huh. Blueprint research device. Okay. Nice. So back to build mode on the on the tool, like by hitting G. Um, pure ferrite. Can I put the refiner in here, or will it burn my house down? Oh. Well, it looks like it'll let me put it in here. And 
this thing. What else do I need? Carbon nanotubes. That I can make in my inventory, I think. Once I get more carbon. Hey there, um, is that Tamara? I'm sorry, I don't read Russian. I, I can sound out Cyrillic letters a little bit because at one point I knew a little bit of Russian, but I don't know very much. Oh, insufficient power. Dang it. That sounds like you've got a pretty cool starship, Tamara. <laughs> Okay, let's switch this to mining beam. Oh, and it needs a recharge. Technology recharge. Okay. Now why are there no nice big trees on this planet? Huh? Wow, that thing really blows them away. Oh look, more loot! Ammunition. Condensed carbon. Nice. Sodium. And... Did I get that one? I did. I did. Okay. Got all of them. Alright. But you know, I should probably actually scan this plant, I suppose. Dream Donay, huh? Seems like it's the only one of the plants that can be harvested for carbon. This is, I think, actually a mineral. Yeah. Hey, Grim Thing! Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate that. How have you been doing? It's been a while. You've been playing over on purple server? Purple Typhlusion? When I saw that there was a, a Primal Chaos mod out, I wondered if y'all were going to be trying that because I know that our mutual friend Purple really enjoys the overhaul mods. Carbon, but we keep running out, so let's keep getting some more. I do think it's kind of interesting. It's something that I noticed a long time ago about science fiction, kind of in general, is that I, I, it is a very rare science fiction franchise that doesn't have single biome planets. It's like almost every planet is just one biome. It's that way in Star Trek and Star Wars and... I mean, the vast majority of it. I mean, it makes sense because our creativity is somewhat limited. There's only so many biomes that we can think of, right? And then if each planet had dozens of different biomes like the Earth does, then they would very quickly run out of ideas for new biomes. 
And it's just kind of funny how it's just such an accepted thing that we just accept. Oh yeah, that's a water planet, and that's a jungle planet, and that's a desert planet. And don't even expect them to have more than one biome. Advanced mining laser required. Okay. I will need a lot of ferrite dust, huh? Oh, nice! Beat all the bosses on Alpha and heading into the tech cave soon. Sweet! Well, let me know how it goes. I think that if I'm able to tag along with Zanzibar when he does the bosses on my island server... Oh, this one isn't identified yet. Then we may be ready to start doing some soon. Um, I will not pretend that I did any of the preparations for it because I've been too busy with editing videos and stuff. But I know Zanzibar has been breeding up Megatheriums and making saddles for them and stuff. So if he needs another body to ride along and help, I would be happy to do that. Draken is working on it. Yeah, I've heard that he is. Yeah, it was it was it was actually really sweet. I when ASA first came out, Kraken was saying that, you know, he'd love to make ASA mods, but his computer was struggling with ASE and just not a able to to play ASA at all. But and so people on his Discord um yeah, they raised money to Buy him a new computer, which is awesome. Ooh, that is quite the deep hole. So, I am in Kraken's Discord. I just mostly lurk. I lurk in a lot of different Discords because I don't have time to actually talk in all of them. But I like to keep up with the news. I think we've got lots of stuff and our reason and our who our heat protection is getting low so let's head inside Ooh, that's better <laughs> Ooh, stretch <sighs> Yeah, that is true that planets would be hot, cold, or toxic due to the space conditions, but depending on, of course, their orbit and stuff, they would be, they could be very, very hot on one side and very, very cold on the other side. It's kind of unlikely that an entire planet would be just one temperature. And Skygazer says, I feel like it's the fact that sci-fi tends to want to be more realistic and I think though I'm not a super space pro so not super sure that most planets are just one biome aside from Earth. Well, the thing is most of the other planets don't have, I mean, all of the other known planets don't have life on them. They don't have water on them. But even so, the side that faces the sun is hot and the side facing away is cold. But other than that, yeah, without water or any forms of life, they are pretty limited in the types of biomes that they can have. Okay. Not exactly sure how I'm supposed to power this thing. Does it just recharge over time? Now it looks like I can turn it on, but of course I don't want to during the daytime. Okay, now what was I doing? What was I gathering resources for? This thing. Okay, I need to make carbon nanotubes, and I should have enough of the magnetized ferrite now. Yes. Okay, I think we just need the one for now. Oh, there we go. We made a thing. We 
where should we put the thing? Let's put it over here. All right, test the construction research unit. Analysis unit online. Diagnostic suggestion. User should recover salvage data from buried technology. Equip and utilize an analysis visor. Okay. Ah, we've got a technology tree. Core habitation tech. Okay, so salvage data is like the points you use to unlock it. Looks like. Hmm. Teleport module. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Okay. Timber stuff. Apparently I need to go salvage some data. Hey, Demonic Crunk! Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, that would be really cool, Skygazer. That would at least show some level of creativity, right? Have a tidally locked planet that had one side facing the sun and one side away. So it was a scorching desert on one half and a frozen Arctic on the other side. Um, that actually reminds me, there was a really interesting novella or like short story that I read. Um, I'm not going to go over the whole thing, of course, but it was in a it was in a book with a bunch of short stories by Brandon Sanderson, as well as some of the people in his writing group that, you know, other authors that he collaborates with, I guess. And each person had kind of contributed a short story and then they all, well, they all did, kind of submitted an idea to the group and then they discussed the ideas and then they went off and wrote their stories and then they presented the rough draft. And then they also they had input from the other authors and then they went and wrote a finished version and it kind of this book was letting us into that whole process letting us see the evolution of a, sh a short story from beginning to end it was really fascinating but there was one of the stories in there by one of the other authors that was a fantasy that took place on a tidally locked planet and it was really fascinating I would love to see a full-length novel based on that sometime all right, I need to go get me some salvage data. Buried underground around the planet, huh? Okay. Yeah, I have not seen that Netflix series, Kova. I'll have to look that up sometime. All right. Ooh, alloy stuff, huh? Well, that's for, like, metal stuff. All right, well, I guess we've got to go get some buried technology. Yeah, if I could find the door, that would help. All right, let's scan. That's a... Oh, subterranean organic structure. Okay. Buried technology module. There we go. Alright, let's go see if we can find this thing. Yeah, I was trying to remember what it's called. I think I've got it in my Audible. So I'll, I can look it up later and I can post the name of it on my Discord. Um, Skygazers, so... Um, yeah, but I, I highly recommend for sure. Okay, I should probably charge my weapon here. Alright. Oh, and let's also... We have this on the right setting? Okay, yes, it is on the mining beam. Alright. I identified you already, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Dang it. I was trying to identify you. 
No, not the mineral. How did I did I already identify you? I thought I identified you. But maybe yeah, maybe I did. I did not mean to do that. All right, buried technology module is down here. So let's hit G. Whoa. There, at least it's not buried very deep. Right, let's make we make like a little ramp to make it easier to get in and out. There. All right. Spend data to earn learn a new construction benefits. Okay. Cool. Oh, great. Okay. Let's head back to base. Yeah, the, the short story that was in there by Brandon Sanderson was really good as well. It was very different from anything I'd ever read by him before. In that it was in a, some ways less fantastical, but you know, he has such, as an author, he, I'm always impressed with his grasp of characters. And the characters were really well developed, I thought. It was quite impressive. All right, now let's... Um, what was we got here? Okay. Yeah, I gotta go into the thingy, right? Let's go into the thingy. Okay. Okay, so there's the teleport module. How many do I have? Does, does it show me how? Oh, I've got two. Okay, so I could that or I could do more of these structures. Well, I've got enough structures for a basic base, so it seems like maybe I should do this. User is urged to verify network integrity before inserting any matter they cannot afford to become separated from, like your body. Uh, so is it not meant to teleport characters? <laughs> okay. The base can be renamed. Interact with base computer to name your base. Well, this is not going to be a permanent base, so I think I'll leave it for now. <sighs> yeah, Demonic Crunk, this is a cool game. I'm enjoying it so far. Quite a bit. I'm still basically, I think I'm still basically in the tutorial. Oh, still having a firestorm out here, so let's actually go back inside. Okay. Think at my. Um, okay, the storm is clearing. Okay, good. Um. No, not that button. I need to hit... Did I mess up my graphics again by hitting the wrong button? Uh, let me make sure that I did not. Okay, now there's... If I accidentally hit the wrong button and pop out a window when I'm playing Arc, then it downgrades it to 1920 by 1080. And I just wanted to make sure that did not happen because I accidentally hit a button. Okay. Um, I need to hit Z to see how to make this. Okay, metal plating, uh, carbon nanotubes. The carbon nanotubes, I can make in my inventory. The metal plating, I believe, is made in the, in the uh, refiner, right? Was it? Maybe not. Oh, maybe it was in my inventory. Let me double check here. Okay. Yes, it is in here. Okay.
Okay, how many of these did I need? Four metal plating. Okay. Right. Oh, you can put this inside as well. That's kind of cool. Still getting the hang of these buttons. Insufficient power. All right, all right. It's going to make me rename my base whether I like it or not. Okay. I'm just trying to finish this tutorial so I can move to a more habitable planet. get to a better angle for a more artistic screenshot or is that not a thing I can do? Yeah, I want to be able to have some of the horizon in the shot. There, that's better. Okay, upload base. What does that do? What does that do when you upload uh, to up when you upload the base? Oh, and I can change the name here. Okay. Hey, Big Jim! Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Okay. Does if I upload base, is that gonna like? take all of my structures and upload them and so they'll be gone or does it just like upload a copy of it all right powering the base learn the biofuel reactor okay back in here and powering the base Power modules wired to a grid of generators and batteries. Wiring is free to place. Staff wires, okay. Different generators have different capabilities. The biofuel reactor requires manual fueling. Solar panels generate power automatically, but only during the day. And the electromagnetic generator supplies power continuously, but must be sited on special power hotspots located with the survey device upgrade for the analysis visor. Batteries store surplus power from the grid and redistribute it when required. They are particularly efficient when used with solar panels. Cool. Okay, got it. Um, it's making a note of the base in the archives okay well this is like nothing to write home to mom about it's nothing particularly exciting it's just a little two by three as we would call it in arc pretty much the equivalent of a thatch hut right okay uh, so in order to research this i need to what, where do i find Power, okay, under the log, that's where it is. Learn the biofuel reactor. So I need to get more salvage data, it looks like. There, now that's my active quest. Select buildable technology to browse available plans. Yeah, already did that, but okay. Biofuel reactor. All right. Cheap enough to make, but I need to go find some more salvage data. Sweet. 
Solar vine. Interesting. Silver, silver, subterranean organic structure. Silver, silver, lots of silver on this planet. Copper, copper, more copper. Another solar vine, more copper. More copper, I'm not seeing. This is quite the deep hole. Should I go in there and search? Seems very dangerous. This, this is the hole that our ship almost fell into. Oh, makes it so others can find your baits. Okay. Cool. Okay, let's move a little bit farther away and try scanning again. like we may need to go a little farther afield. Because, yeah, I am not seeing any more of the very data. Oh, there we go. There's one. Let's go and get some sodium plants while we're here, and there's several close by. And let's also... Recharge that. Oh, that's one of the cre- I haven't scanned that one yet. Succalacea. Oh, that's not a pleasant sounding name. What are you? Very disturbing looking bug thing. starting to kind of get the hang of it. What is this? Oh, that's more of those cave marrows. Unidentified mineral. Alright, let's scan it. Looks like a unicorn horn. Morosolite, huh? I don't know. Oh, this one's one I already looted. Never mind. About to say, I don't know why these ships keep dropping so much crap, but I don't necessarily mind.
I already, yeah, I already checked that one. I thought I, I did identify those plants. God. Must have identified a different plant. Okay, that is the salty hill plant. Okay. Got it. Is that where, where is the thing? Where is the thing? The tag was over here. It's it's somewhere over here. I'm just trying to find okay, the berry technology mod. There we go. Somewhere right around here. There it is. Oh, subterranean organic structure. Interesting. Huh. So there's a module next to any broken technology. Okay. Is that true of all of them? Maybe I should go look for more down here too while I'm at it. Oh, hello. This is the one creature so far that I have named for those who joined us a little later. Meet the armadillo rat chicken. Okay. Are there any modules there? Yes, there are. Somewhere. Let's try scanning again. I'll charge that, but I'm trying to charge my thermal capture. Thank you. Huh. I could have sworn it said there was one over here. Oh, there we go. Somewhere here. There we go. May, might as well get several of these thingies while we're out and about and not have to keep leaving base every five minutes to go look for another one. Hey Mikey! It's going pretty good. Starting to kind of feel like we're getting the hang of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go back and figure that out in a minute. I, I wanna see if there's any... Okay, what is with the debris? Did I not search this debris yet? I could have sworn I did. No, I did search this debris. Okay. Ooh, there's a cave. just have a peek. I haven't been down into any caves yet. 
Ooh, we can hear the echoes. What is this? Come on, why won't you scan? It already called that uh, Cave Mallow before, but now it renamed it? Oh, Cave Marrow. Oh, th is that what it just named? No. So what is this? It looks like shelf fungus. Huh, maybe it's just, just visual. I was kind of hoping it might be a better source of carbon or something because it's a bit of a pain trying to get carbon from the tiny little plants. Oh, gee. Does this give carbon? No. Does not seem like this stuff does. Okay, now how did I find my way out of here? This way, right? Yes, here we go! Ah, that's right! She, uh, sh your shield recharges in here. Nice! I guess some things are just supposed to be mysterious, right? Humming sack? What? Okay, well, let's just go see what that is. I guess it's probably something under the ground in the cave. It's hot, so we might as well go into the cave anyway. Now this is the way to explore caves. Okay, so what are they? Uh, floating bits of the ground. What are you? Ooh, albumin pearl. Cool. That kind of looks like some sort of a creature's egg, which is all kinds of disturbing. Hopefully said creature will not be mad at me for stealing their egg. <laughs> You're a mole lady. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see the attraction, especially on a hot planet like this. Said creatures behind you looking disapproving. I didn't I didn't see them. Hopefully not any kind of a spider or something, because that would freak me out. I don't like spiders, and I never have. I don't even remember what happened to make me scared of spiders, but ever since I was a very, very tiny child, I have been scared of spiders. I can remember having nightmares about spiders when I was like a toddler because I'm a freak and I have memories that go back far earlier than average. Um, so yeah. 
Okay. Anything else fun around here? These are all minerals. That is a fireberry. I already found that. Alright, well, I guess we're just head home then. Oh, wait. Oh, there's another one. I swear it's deploying them. As we're out here, it's like adding them to the terrain. Because that one wasn't there a little bit ago. Kiddo doesn't like spiders either. Oh, the description said it's a plant egg? Okay. Because it's... Uh, I forget what it described it as, but it sounded like something bug-related. Mm. There. Um. Setting. Oh, setting. Oh, I didn't mean to... What did I just do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay. Terrain manipulator, mine. Yeah, that's what we want. salvage data. Hey, so goddess! Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. <sighs> I thought, are my temperature levels stabilizing or not? It's still going down. What's your mom doing? She just had surgery, right? Sounded like the ho hospital there's a really nice one. Lucky, lucky. All right. Buildable technology. Biofuel reactor. Sweet. Let's make some metal plating. Oh, we're gonna have to put some stuff in the ship. Albumin pearl. Okay, that's a tray. Oh, wow. That looks pretty valuable. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what the exchange rate is. I don't. Don't know if. Um, what you can buy with 21,000 some credits or whatever, but looks like a lot. Okay. Can I eat these? One of these? Okay. 
All right, let's craft a thing. Wait, no, 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 not that. I need to do it in my inventory, I think, now that I unlocked it. Oh, nice. Okay, what else can I unlock while I am here? Health station. I don't have quite enough for that. Signal booster. What do you think? What should I get? Electrical wiring or a signal booster or I can unlock more structures. Glass panel. Ramp. Triangles. Ooh. I can make non-square structures. That's pretty cool. All right. Have a great evening, Lisa. Thanks for hanging out. All right. Don't want health station. Okay. Well, that's good, Soap. I'm glad that she is on the mend. Okay. Now you can see. Biofuel reactor. you over here, I guess. Okay. Now what do we need to fuel this? Okay, we need to connect it to a grid. Apparently. What kind of fuel? What do you in what do you put fuel in it? Or do you have to connect it to the grid first? Oh, okay. Do it this way, I guess. Okay. But... I still need to attach it to a grid, so I think I'm going to need the wires too, right? All right, Krunk. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. All right, let's see. No, I was trying to get in there. Makes you sit through the entire thing each time here. Okay. All right, wiring. I guess that's what we need. All right. Battery. I could get the battery. I have enough for that. Some metal plating and sodium nitrate for that. Electrical wiring, that's what we need. I don't think any of the other things require power, right? Got the exclamation point on there as if I've got new things in here. I don't have new things in here. Battery. Need more condensed carbon for that. Okay. Okay, there we go.
journey milestone accomplished. Okay, let's go. I want. I, I really kind of want to upgrade my jetpack so that I could like fly around more easily. I want to check out that structure and there's probably some more of those buried data things over there anyway, right? Did I scan the two-legged creature yet? I don't think I did. Alright. Found six of seven unique creatures on this planet. Seems like I'm always running low on carbon and ferrite. Might as well get it while I can. And sodium. Yeah, there's the spino sheep thing. You are very strange looking. Whoa! Excuse me? Rude! Okay, can I scan the- oh, there's smoke coming from it. Okay, what is this? Well, let me scan it. Colossal archive, huh? I'll return to the base computer. I will eventually get around to it. I'm just curious. I want to see what's over here. I've been following the quest line, doing as told for a while, and now I need to do something more interesting for a bit. I think my jetpack should be okay to take me down there. Oh, I can summon my ship to me. If I had fuel. Okay. Okay. some of those, but I don't think I have them on me. Okay. Sweet. I have... No, I don't think I have anything on me right now. I'll have to get those from the ship. Um, put them in the ship inventory. What? What was that? 
Made me think you're going to be mad at me for trespassing or something. Another artifact exchange fault. Well, um, Rod, it seems to me like... Oh, there's the light. Okay. It seems like the... Um, the jetpack is... It reminds me a little bit of the tech suit. It's just that it doesn't have as much power. So I have to be careful not to use it up. It's got a very limited range. Oh, there's some kind of thing up there. There's some kind of humanoid... Will I regret this? Maybe. Mathematician entity. Huh. Hello. Um, yeah, same to you, buddy. The lights of the electronic life forms mass constrict as they prepare to enter trade negotiations. Oh. They indicate they are open to discuss trade goods and the purchase of their starship. Ooh. Recruit life form to squadron. Offer to trade. Do I have anything to trade? Okay, that's what they have to buy. I don't know what any of that is. What do I have to sell? Oh, that's cool. They show you what the demand is for different things. So, give you an idea of if you'll get a good deal for it or not. Oh, the oxygen is in demand. It would appear. I'm gonna have to get some of my sellable stuff from the ship. I just assumed I wouldn't be able to sell it until I went to a different planet or something. Huh. Well, the raw steak we could sell. And the leg meat. Here, you can have that too. Cool. Ooh, that's expensive. Huh. Highly prized by all species, not least its own. <laughs> okay. Tritium. Selenium. Gold. That's all you got handy? Alright, well... I should go back to the ship for now. Unless you want to come with me and trade with me. How much you want for your ship, anyway? Definitely looks better than mine. I need to go back to my ship and get my stuff. Oh wait, do I want to go up here? What's up here? Oh, there's more of them! Hello. Operator. Geologist. Uh-huh, same to you. Uh... Alright, request dialect help, practice language skills. Okay. Buzzes the acknowledgement. They offer a list of language symbols. Choice of subjects to learn. Okay, how about the trade symbol? Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, I can't ask them for help with more than one thing, huh? Corvax or trading. Okay. He flinches as though pained. <laughs> okay, apparently my accent is terrible. Oh, my de standing decreased? Hey, I was trying my best. <coughs> uh, 
Okay. So do I need to get the same symbol multiple times or something? How do I improve my accent? Well, if you're going to make fun of me for my accent, then I'm not going to try talking to you guys again. At least you guys seem to be somewhat friendly. Chemist. Research entity. <coughs> I'm sorry, I don't have a quick mute on my microphone right now. Ahem. <coughs> <clears throat> Ham. I get another cough drop. All right. The data cube, okay. I don't think I want an aggression symbol. <coughs> okay, so Corvax apparently means traveler. Got it. Okay. What do we got up here? Echo repository. Ooh. Ooh, it gave me access to the archive. Manifest will of ancient Corvax echoes. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to read all of this, but it's pretty cool. It's kind of poetic. Don't do the talking till you've learned a lot of words. Okay, yeah, that sounds like good advice. Hey, okay, my ship is that way. Can I get down from here with the jetpack, you think? Let's see. Just gotta fall a bit and then activate the jetpack so I don't use up all the juice when I'm still too high above the ground. <clears throat> Definitely a lot of the... Uh, carbon plants out here. Is this a new one? It is. Dihydrogen jelly, okay. And sodium. And that would have um, given me more health for my suit, apparently. Okay. Oh, there's a flying something there. Is that a. Are those creatures? I, that might be the seventh creature that I need to get all the creatures on this planet. How are we. How am I supposed to scan that? Okay, there we go. Seven of seven, we got them all. You can tell I'm a bit of a completionist. Hey, Skygazer. I went and checked out the little spaceport hub thing and um, interacted with a few of the life forms over there and realized that I should have brought my stuff to trade with me. I discovered this. It's. I'm heading back to my base. I have definitely been through this area before.
I'm going, I'm going. Oh yeah, all the rocks and plants. Yeah. I have been scanning all the ones when it's it said that I didn't know what it was or whatever. Unidentified ones. Get up, please. Thank you. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. I'm heading back to, to recharge everything here at base. Oh. Would help if I could find the door. Let's do a little swapperoo thing here. What do we want to put in the ship and what do we want to keep on us? This, I think I'll probably need it at some point, right? And the ammo, the projectile ammunition I should probably keep. These though, Wanted to put in there. Marrow bulbs. Okay. Hmm. Oh geez, sometimes there's animals in an underground lake. Wow. here. This chromatic metal is really valuable, it looks like. A uh, big split. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's keep some of this and we can bring some of it to sell, maybe, possibly. Navigation data may be traded with a cartographer. I, there might be a cartographer in there. I didn't see one but I didn't look at all of the life forms that were in there and we might as well try to trade this hey Judy thank you very much and welcome welcome by the way feline liver is pretty valuable apparently Gold and silver. Residual goop. I've got enough, a lot of those, and apparently that is more or less junk. Might as well sell the junk. Get some money for it, right? Let's keep the battery. Viscous fluids can be sold, I suppose. Ooh, nice. You can use navigation data to call your ship to you at some places, so you can also do it from the quick menu. Nice. It can be processed. Yeah. Okay, the cobalt I think I'll probably need at some point. So let's put that in there. Sweet root. Ooh, well, eating it will restore 10% hazard protection. Nice. Yeah, lumpy brainstem does not sound all that appetizing. Let's sell that, shall we? Magnetized ferrite, carbon, condensed carbon, dihydrogen. Got a lot of these basic minerals and stuff and things. Mordite. Oh! 
Despite much study, little is known about this haunting crystalline compound. It is released from the cadavers of dying creatures that can also be specifically cultivated and harvested from the Mordite root plant. Hmm. Well, it seems like it is useful for some things, so let's store that in the ship. This one looks like it's just for sell. No, you're useful for building, crafting, charging, upgrading. This is useful for upgrading. Yeah. These are just for trading, so let's take these. I think the reason why I thought these were some kind of animal thing is because albumin is uh, a protein that's in eggs, like actual chicken eggs and stuff. Gemstone formed over the course of centuries within the egg of a super incubatory species. Highly ornamental, these gems are themselves living seeds, lucent grains of potential life. So they are like a seed, sort of, but also an egg of a super... So that something that incubates for a very long period of time, it would appear. Okay. Anything else we want to sell? Probably... Oh, the goop and fluid eventually turns to nanites? Ah. I don't even know what the nanites are for. I've seen that I've gotten some from some of the different things that I have looted, but I don't know what they're used for. Alright, well, that looks good. Let's let's go. It looks like all of my systems are charged. A okay, base computer log updated. Return to the base computer. Okay, let's do that while we're here. I already did that. Repeating 16 from the PlayStation. Space Station. Warning. End of archive. Records interrupted. Base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there is nothing more I will learn from them. My predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station. Ah. Okay. Oh, I think I need to recharge my life support. All right, now let's head back over there. Do a little trading and then we'll leave. Analyze that? Analyze what? What did I not analyze? I thought everything had been analyzed already. Oh, is this? No, these have been looted already. They are a currency for certain upgrades and other things. Okay. Okay, so do I not want to trade those seed pearl things then? The albumin pearls? It looked like it was saying that the main use of them is for trading. You know what? The steak and meat were actually worth a fair bit. I should be killing all the creatures I see on the way there. There's the critters. Like that. Oh, dang it. Well, so much for that idea. I'll just go sell stuff then, I guess. Oh, the nanites. Okay. Yeah, the, the delay can be a little annoying. Oxygen rich plant. These are definitely better than the other oxygen rich plants that attack you.
You guys are safe for now, because I'm out of inventory space. Grow? What? That's kind of crazy. Okay. Huh, so doesn't seem like I have anything that counts for any of those. New artifacts. Well, apparently the Gek artifacts I have don't count, then. to trade. Okay. Ah, the demand is a little low for those here. Don't think that I want to try to sell those to you if you're not going to give me a good price on them. Ferrite dust and magnetized ferrite are like the only things he'll give me a decent price on. Other than this Gek relic, you'll sell those, huh? Oh, you give th to them? You give the relics to increase how much they like you, so I'm not supposed to sell those? I want to go see if some of the others offer better prices for things. Like, is it per space station? Are the price is the prices per space station, or is it per um, individual entity? What is that? That's weird. Uh, let's see, do you guys have, have stuff to trade? I don't remember. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, the prices are system-wide. Okay. Information repository. Sure. Print chart. <sighs> well, apparently I gotta leave some stuff. I gotta sell some stuff first. Technology merchant, huh? Can I not sell things to you? You only buy? Oh no, you can. You can. You will buy things too. There's an in-game economy, so different systems have different prices. Okay. Oh, well, we'll sell you... You can buy all of the viscous fluids. How about that? Okay. No! Dang it. How do I... Just say yes, do it. 
sell. Okay, there we go. Okay, and I suppose I'll sell you my lumpy brain stems. <coughs> I can crash. Oh, wow, that's detailed. <coughs> you can crash the price of something and then buy it back for less than you sold it, then move to a new solar system and do it again. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool for sure. Hey, um, this is not, well, it's not a great price, but I'll sell it. That's easy enough to get. Should I sell the albumin pearls or should I save them and hope to get a better price later? Uh, this isn't worth all that much anyway. Might as well get the space back. Minus 34%? I don't think so. Need to find a cartographer to sell those to. Hmm. Oh, you have hermetic seals. Exosuit upgrade chart. Ooh, I can buy navigation data for pretty cheap. Since the price of it is so far down. Seems like it might be smart to buy some of that since it's so the price is so low here. sell them then. Okay. Don't think I want to sell my oxygen. I can crack it open. Potentially highly valuable. So I need to crack that open. Apparently. What did I get? Got some more dihydrogen, apparently. Okay. Cool. Any cartographers around here? Chemist. Okay. This one is just an, is another dialect helper one. Mystery. Travel. Trade. Corvax. Um, okay, cool. I visited you. What about you, scientist? Space trucker, woohoo! <laughs>
Suppose I should learn the aggression symbol. These are <clears throat> so. If you learn the same thing again, does it give you a? You learn it better, or does it give you another word for it, or is it just repetition? <laughs> Wire looms are really important and expensive, so if you see them under the normal price, you always get them. okay. Well, I'll go back then and take a look at how much they were over here. Wireloo. Uh, plus 5.5. .5. Yeah, so they're not below the normal price, it would appear. I do have a lot of units, though. I could actually buy one. Antimatter housing. Huh. Solar mirror. Oh, I didn't mean... No, I didn't buy that, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I actually could afford this, but... Oh. Should I get it? The exosuit upgrade chart? The demand minus 35%, does that mean I'd be getting it at a bargain? Oh yeah, you might, yeah, you might need to refresh or something there, Skygazer. Huh. kind of would like an upgrade to the exosuit. That does sound like a good idea as far as something to invest in. Like if I could get a better jetpack, that would be pretty cool. Hmm. It's pretty expensive though. What do you think? Should I should I go for the exosuit upgrade chart or not? <sighs> Thought I already sold the rusted metal. I guess I didn't. No, don't buy it. Could sell some of this oxygen. Maybe. Oh, no, it did sell all. No, it didn't sell all of it. Okay, good. Just curious how that worked. Okay, it shows you where you can get a slot expansion. Okay. So, like, so you can carry more stuff? That makes sense. Alright. Oh, I don't think I talked to these ones out here yet. Oh, Scholar Entity. Two individuals appearing to share this body. Interesting. Okay. All right, all right. I'll go to the space station. Let me just finish talking to these guys. Okay. 
Okay, I already learned those words. Okay. Ah, recruit to squadron. How does that work? Can I? Okay, I don't own a freighter. Okay, okay, I won't. I can't apparently um, invite you to join my team or whatever. Okay, where is the direction of my base? Oh, there's a buried cache over there. I think that's the way I need to head anyway, isn't it? Oop. Oh, by the ship launch fuel? I didn't notice that. I should have been paying attention to that. Sh ship launch fuel would definitely be something that I would imagine would be very handy to have. I, I think this might be on the opposite side of the little space. Nope, okay, there's my base. Okay. Alright, I'll go back and get the fuel then, and then pick up that buried cache on my way back. Thank you, Zant. Appreciate it. Hey. Oh, there's the there's the one I was talking to before. Figure out my way around. Oh, this is a different ship than the one that was there a minute ago. This one looks pretty cool, actually. It's very tiny. The Anvil of Clouds. Hey, offer to trade. Do you have launch fuel? Yes, there we go. I can afford that. How many do I need? I don't... Hopefully you just need one? Uh, let's buy two, just to be safe. Is what an exotic? An exotic what? Raw steak. Here, you can buy some steak for me. And some more dice. Alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure that's a lot of fun sitting there telling me, no, 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 don't do that. Yeah, that's what I tend to do while play while watching people play Ark for the first time. <laughs> End up leaving a ton of different comments. Ugh. 
that's way easier than digging for treasure in seven days to die, which is super annoying. Aluminium, huh? Cool. Okay. Yeah, it's exactly. It's 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 kind of fun, I think, stumbling around trying to figure it out for the first time. Even if you do stuff wrong. It's just a game after all, right? What is that symbol? Oh, that's the space station. Okay. Okay, exotic spaceships. Cool, so you can collect a bunch of different ones. You can have more than one. Noise. The first time you played this game, you played it for 15 hours straight? Wow. The Living Ones is a cool quest line. Alright, well, I'll keep my eyes peeled for that one. Yes, I need to head to the space station so I can purchase jetpack upgrades. I know, I know. Alright, should I just leave this base here? I'd like, can I make another computer thingy? Or sh is there a way for me to like pick all this up and take it with me? Because I hope I don't see this planet again. Living spaceships and freighters. Huh, cool. Yes and yes to what? Can I pick this stuff up and take it with me? Um. I need to put this in building mode, right? This I can pick up. Oh, I was trying to pick it up. How do you pick it up? Oh, it's... there we go. Yeah, those I can pick up. This one isn't giving me an option to pick up. Let's see, huh? Yeah, it's just opening it up. I guess I could leave that there in case I want to teleport back, I suppose. Can't imagine why I would want to do that, but stranger things have happened. Yeah. 
I hear you there. It's definitely my habit from playing Ark as well. So what am I missing then? Once in, in the build menu, press C. Okay, so Z in the build menu and then press C. Ah, there we go. Now I can pick up stuff. Okay. Um, so how do I just pick it up then? Like, I don't want to put it down again. Yeah, it's, now it's back in that spot. You know what? Let's. I suppose I could like save this base or something. Part deleted. Did I? Did I delete it? What did I delete? You delete it and you get the resources back. Okay. Got it. So if I delete this, will it pick up all of the rest of the stuff then? Uh, delete, delete, delete. Where's the delete? You can scale it? Oh, this can't be resized. Okay. Toggle, edit, build. I'm stumbling around here. Don't know what I am doing. It's all a little overwhelming. Uh, you can do all the other parts, okay? Oop, not that way. That was an accident. Okay, delete. There it is. X. X. There we go. That's pretty cool. Yes, this is not quite the friendly starting beach we're used to in Ark, so yes, I don't mind if I don't come back here. Protection uh, can I not pick this one up? Not remove. Okay. Okay, so the computer has to stay, uh, has to stay there. Okay. That's all right. Maybe we should take a screenshot, shall we? A nice artistic shot framed in. And then was I saw there was like a mode where how did I access that? Oh, it wasn't in there. Is it under? What is it under? Oh, there it is. Photo mode. You can move the sun. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. Jeez. Cloud level. I could raise the cloud level. That's pretty cool. Vignette. That's darkness around the edges, right? Nice bloom. Could raise the bloom a bit more. Maybe not quite that high. Filters. Whoa, that's cool. 
Jeez. Oh, that's a cool one. So, how do I take the screenshot? In? Um, I don't think it took the screenshot. There. Oh, that's the take screenshot. Okay. Ah, okay. And it takes it in Steam. So it'll go with the rest of the Steam screenshots, I guess. Okay, that's pretty cool. And adjust effects. That one at least cut, cuts out some of the red. <laughs> Say, this is pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> Jeez, there's a lot of them. Vintage is kind of okay. Left shift, hide menu. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that again. I meant to go back to this again. So this is the default. That's what it actually looks like. And we might as well get a picture from there too. A Q. Okay, I can change my height. Cool. All right. That's it. All right. Oh, you have to unclaim. Okay, that makes sense. Delete base. Continue. Whoa! All right. I think we are packed up and ready to go then. Okay. Yeah, that's smart, Skygazer. Definitely. <laughs> Alright. So, let us be off then. Uh, hold W, right? Oh, not enough fuel in the launch thruster. So, we're there. Launch thruster, there we go. Alright. Now there's enough fuel. Whoa, that is kind of crazy how you can barrel roll like that. Oh, ah! Wrong button again. <laughs> Now I, now to get your hyperdrive, huh? So that's the thing. Ah, oh, I'm trying to like lock on. Oh, that's how you tilt. Okay, cool. Uh, 
it's pretty cool, the other planets. You can actually see things while you're in, um, whatever drive this is. Alright, yeah, let's probably probably not a good idea to like crash into it. Okay. Matt, can I like get around the thingy? Thank you. Woo! Not at a great angle here, apparently. Let's go out and then like turn around and face it at a better angle. Oh, there's that another green planet. Okay. Yeah, no, no, I'm not trying to shoot anything. Okay, well, at least the autopilot <laughs> takes over. I was a little worried there. Okay. Okay, so hyperdrive will stop you before you crash into things. Okay, good. Good to know. Oh, that music's a little loud again. Just a second. Turn that down a bit. Still a little loud. There, is that better? Alright. We are in a different place that is not a desert planet. Woohoo! Nice. Oh, here's a different looking alien. Well, I mean, in this place, I might be the alien. Hello. You're a colorful little thing. They seem excited to see me, though I cannot understand their babbling tongue. Perhaps they would recognize the signal mentioned by the base computer. They release a strange smelling gas. This appears to signify our conversation is over. All right, apparently they fart when they don't want to talk to you. Got it. I suppose that's probably a um, effective means of communication at least. Divine Atlas entity, huh? You're a divine entity. Are you? The alien's elegant metal shell springs to life as I approach. They study me, lights flashing around their visor. Perhaps they know something about the messages left at the base computer. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that little thing is a geck? Okay. Cool, so you can actually customize your appearance. Okay. Oh, they seem reluctant to speak further. All right. Okay. When I blink, I see the same red light that stared at me at the distress beacon. Huh. We are watching you, traveler friend. Find what we have left you. Oh. Though the alien speaks, the words are not their own. A string of code is echoed back to me through the red glare, logged directly to my exosuit. The crimson light fades away, and I see the life form staring at me through its visor. Whatever has happened, they do not appear to have seen it. Ooh, mysterious. I should leave. Perhaps my base computer would be able to make something of this code. Cool. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a cartographer here, too, to potentially sell stuff. <sighs> 
this looks really cool and I really would love to keep going but just looked at the clock and I promised my hubby that I'd go out to dinner with him tonight for my birthday we are going to a lovely Lebanese restaurant and I'm starting to get kind of hungry too so probably should call it here because there definitely seems like I, I could definitely spend hours, I'm sure, um, talking to all of the beings here and checking out all the nooks and crannies and getting into mischief. So, I guess we will call it here. Thanks so much for hanging out. It's, uh, I really appreciate you guys being here with me, spending my birthday with me. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your week and weekend, and I'll see you around. And if you haven't already, join my Discord so that we can hang out over there too. Alright, have a great day everybody. Bye bye